What is a quad tendon rupture, a quadriceps tendon rupture, and how is it treated? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of the book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. A quadriceps tendon rupture is very similar to a patella tendon rupture that we talked about last week. Basically, the patellar tendon rupture is the tendon right below the kneecap getting torn. The quadriceps tendon is just above the kneecap, largely has the same function, transfer stress and, and force from your quadriceps muscle through the kneecap to the patella tendon to help straighten your knee or to extend your leg, to lift your leg. And it's torn typically in older people than patellar tendon ruptures. This isn't always true, but patella tendon ruptures are typically 30 and under, maybe 40 and under. Quadriceps tendon ruptures tend to be 40 and older. Now, it's like a patella tendon rupture, a difficult injury. It takes a long time to overcome, and yes, it needs surgery. Very similar to the patella tendon surgery we talked about last time, where you reattach the tendon. It's the same thing here. You make an incision, put stitches on in the quad tendon and reattach it to the patella, the kneecap, either through drill holes or with anchors. That surgery does very well, but like a patella tendon rupture, it takes time to get knee motion back and strength back and then getting your ability to run and all sorts of functional abilities. This typically takes, like the patella tendon rupture, six months, nine months, 12 months. And again, this typically is a little bit older of a patient population, so it does require some work. But it is not a surgery that does well at all with non-surgical treatment. You just can't straighten your leg well at all. We could put you in a cast or in a knee brace locked in extension, if it even healed like that, it would be very, your knee would be so stiff afterwards that would almost create a bigger problem. So yes, it's a surgery, but it's a long, long recovery. Have you suffered a quadriceps tendon rupture and how did your doctor treat it? What was the recovery like? In the comments below, I'd love to hear your experience. Now, I can't give you specific medical advice, but I'd love to read it. Maybe if you have a question, I'll answer it in an upcoming segment, on an upcoming video maybe. Uh, but I know I'd love to read it and people all around the world dealing with this problem would love to as well. Now, I wanna give you the number one next thing to do or to know to overcome your knee injury. In the description below this video, the very top link, if you click on it, it'll take you to a page where you can answer four or five quick questions that'll help me understand your knee injury, then I can give you the number one next thing to know or next thing to do to help get you on the road to recovery from that knee injury. Do you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention? Subscribe to my video channel. I record several of these videos every single week, so click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. They'll get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video on quadriceps tendon ruptures was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.